Hello, I'm Jan and I'm going to be reading this week's featured poem, which is Bone China by Esther Morgan. I'm going to be reading from her collection of poems called The Silence Living in Houses. And the reason I've chosen this particular poem is that as part of the Making Meaning project at Calderstones, which is funded by the National Heritage Lottery Fund, we've been trying to find ways to reimagine the lives of people who lived in the mansion house in the past. And this poem in particular seems to draw back a curtain and give us a very vivid glimpse into a moment in the life of a, of a young woman, a housemaid in the 18th or 19th century in a, a house perhaps very similar to Calderstone's. Esther read for us at the Gravity Festival last October and she said that poetry can be a kind of archaeology and that feels really apt for this particular poem and I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. Bone China. I want to leave something behind, like the maid who cracked one night the length of her heart, who crept shaking down the staircase to where the service shone on the dresser, plates pale as a row of moons. She stacked them in her arms, a weight greater than all she owned, bore their white tower to the kitchen garden, where she stood between the soft fruit beds and smashed each one against the wall with a planetary anger. That dawn, she walked out of her story forever, though her flavour salted the servants' tongues for months, and clearing the ground a hundred years later of this self-seeded scrub of oak, I can still piece bits of her together, white and sharp, as if the earth were teething.